Hey there, this is your host, Dr. Lori Friesen, and you're listening to episode number 190 of Beginning Teacher Talk. Just because you're a beginning elementary teacher, there is no need for you to struggle like one. I'm dedicated to being the mentor for you that I wish I had when I first started teaching. In this podcast, we talk about all of the -the behind-the-scenes stuff about teaching you really need to know but didn't learn when you were in university. And we share the most amazing resources, tips, and strategies out there so you can become the teacher you've always dreamed of being. Let's start the show. Well, hey there, my friends, and welcome back to episode number 190 of the Beginning Teacher Talk podcast. I hope that if you're already on summer break, that you're enjoying these gorgeous, delicious summer months and that you're soaking it all up. I love long, leisurely mornings with a cup of hot coffee in our backyard and just not rushing off to the rest of the day. I love that about summer. And if you're still in the classroom right now and you're just getting ready, you probably have, depending on where you teach, maybe one or two or even three more weeks of teaching left. Hang in there. It's almost there. And I think what we're going to share today in this episode is going to be really helpful for you because this classroom management hack works. It's called You Are My Sunshine, and it's such a fun and easy way to build positivity into your classroom. But before we dive in, if you've just landed your first teaching position, there's a lot of teachers who are still interviewing or just landing their position, Or if you've been teaching for a year or five and you really want to know what your next steps are towards either landing your dream job or streamlining the way you're doing things inside your classroom, then visit the show notes for this episode, episode number 190, to take my new teacher quiz and you're going to get a curated list of the podcast episodes that are best suited for you at the stage you're at in your teaching journey. All right, now here's how this week's You Are My Sunshine shine classroom management hack works. So whenever you see a student do a random act of kindness or just something helpful that they weren't expected or asked to do, you just say the student's name. So maybe Avery, you are my sunshine. Then they get to put a popsicle stick in a little library pocket with their name on it. So you put out a class display of a library pocket for each child, and you can put it maybe in your reading corner or wherever your class gathers in a space together. And when your students get five sunshines, they get an exclusive lunch with you. So they absolutely love it. And when I say an exclusive lunch with you, that could mean that you have the student bring their own lunch and they get that time with you, that exclusive time with you. Don't feel like you need to provide lunch for the student, but you might want to do something like bring a cupcake for dessert or something special so that you have a special lunch with them or do something that makes them feel like it's special. They absolutely love it. And that positive reinforcement really builds a wonderful class environment because kids are always trying to find ways to earn a sunshine, right? And you're going to find that consequences are needed less and less when your students are constantly working for getting that positive reinforcement as we've talked about so many times on this podcast before, rather than you constantly telling them what they shouldn't be doing, you're looking for what they should be doing and really rewarding that and looking for that all the time. Kids start to learn that they're going to be noticed and appreciated for showing kindness in the classroom. And it really makes for a positive classroom environment. So if you love this idea and you want to use it inside your classroom, I've included some free, simple sunshine templates that you can just grab and use in your classroom. So they're just little sunshines that you can print and laminate and cut out and you just paste them to the tops of your popsicle sticks. I would use hot glue because it's just so simple to get them all done very quickly. And I'll include them in the show notes for this episode. Or if you follow me on Instagram at beginning teacher talk, I've also posted this idea on my feed on Instagram. So you can grab the templates there as well. But such an easy hack, such a fun way to remind us to be watching for all of the things our students are doing right in our classrooms and to stay focused on the positive, which you know I'm a huge fan of. The more we can build kids up and notice all of the things that they're doing right in a genuine way, the more opportunity we have to build relationships with our students that are going to make all the difference in terms of creating a positive classroom environment and positive classroom management throughout the year. 
Okay, now if you have a great classroom management hack that you use in your classroom, I really do want to hear it. Send me a DM at Beginning Teacher Talk on IG or message me at Beginning Teacher Talk on Facebook and let me know what your classroom management hack is and you just might hear your hack on the podcast next week. All right, my friends, I hope you're having a wonderful week. And as always, remember, just because you're a beginning elementary teacher, there's no need for you to struggle like one. Bye for now. Thank you.